There are many, maybe tens or hundreds of explanation and interpretation of Al-Fusus after him, after uh, Ibn al-Arabi. But the main person who introduced or who explained the way of Ibn al-Arabi is his student Al-Ghunabi. And his book is Miftah al-Ghayb, Al-Nusus, and Al-Fukuk. These three books of Qunabi is the main text of Irfan in Hose today. In Hose today, first one book is Al-Fusus, not the uh, text, but the interpretation of Al-Fusus, because the text of Al-Fusus is very difficult to understand. There are some explanation and interpretation and sharh for this Fusus. One of the best sharh is this one, An-Nusus. So An-Nusus is a kind of sharh for this, is a kind of interpretation for this book. So this is a text of uh, Irfan in Hose. And also Miftah al -Ghayb. So the highest level of Irfan in Hose, if somebody wants to learn something about Irfan, they uh, learn these two or three books about Irfan. Uh, finally, we go to the goal of Arif, which is very, you can read the goal of Arif. Yes. What is the goal of Arif? We have been teaching some of the Holy Quran and the Holy Prophet and Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. The Arif desires the real God not for the sake of something else, and he values nothing above his knowledge of the real and his worship of him is because he is worthy of worship and it is a worthy of it is a worthy way of relating himself to him. It is not out of the desire for rewards or fear for of chastisement. We yes. we conclude our discussion here with the wisdom of Imam Ali and Imam the Imam al Arifi. My God, I do not worship you in fear of your fire, nor in desire for your paradise. But I find you worth your worship, so I worship you. Ah, Mashallah. Okay, so really, Irfan, uh, again, I have to mention that uh, is not an easy science, an easy knowledge, uh, for two reasons, because of two points. First of all, Irfan is something uh, from inside, and some Orafa says, if somebody is not ready and is not purified, they don't recommend to go and learn Irfan and to enter the class of Irfan. So first class or uh, pre-assumption for Irfan is purification, is to purify the soul and then we go to Irfan class. The first point. Second point, if uh, we go directly to Irfan class, there, sh there are some misunderstanding. There are some misjudgment. Uh, so even today in Hose, the main ustad and the main teacher of Irfan, if somebody wants to enter their class, they ask them that first, you have to go and finish the science of logic. You have to go and learn logic first, to the highest level of logic. Then you have to go and learn philosophy. Then you have to go and learn al uh, Al-Hikmat al which is Al-Asfar Al-Arba'a of Mullah Sadra. And finally, they evaluate you if you can get a good, uh, uh, for example, evaluation and something like this, they let you go and in, uh, enter the class of Irfan. I'll just give you uh, my experience. Maybe about 20 years ago, when I asked uh, Artullah Jabadi Amuli, he is my teacher in Irfan and Falsafa, we asked him to, I, with some other students and uh, classmen, want to enter your class. He said, okay. Have you finished your uh, man logic? I said, yes. Alhamdulillah, I finished. He said, okay, what about philosophy? Did you finish your philosophy? 
I said, yes, alhamdulillah, we finished. Ibn Sina, Khaja Nasir Ibn Tusi, Allama Taba Tabayana. What about Hakim Muta'ali? Asfar. Yes, alhamdulillah, we read Asfar. We read Asfar. He said, okay, now, if you want to enter the class of Fususul uh, Hikam, it was the class of Fususul Hikam of Ibn al-Arabi. He asked us to go and uh, he, uh, before Fusus, he had another class. The book was, the text was, uh, if I remember the text, is, the text is not for uh, Ibn al-Arabi, some other text, in, and not for Qunabi, some other period. He said, okay, you have to go and first you take the records and tape records from uh, my previous class. It was about 120, 25 tape records. Uh, you have to listen carefully. And then when you pass and listen all these things, you can enter my class. And we did. One summer, I remember one summer, we, we went to Damaban, uh, very good uh, weather, with some other uh, friends. And just listening to the uh, dars of Ayatollah Jawadi Amuli in Irfan, and then we got the permission to enter the class of Irfan. So it is not easy. It's very difficult, Irfan. There are many expressions. There are many terminology. There are many... Uh, ideas about uh, types of Erfan and all these things. So if somebody goes inside the Erfan without knowing no, uh, philosophy or logic or all these things, so maybe he or she goes astray and zalala. So this is the reason that in Hose, we don't have a lot class in Erfan. There are some specific level, some specific person and I remember the class of Irfan was very secret. The door is not open. The door is not open for everybody to just enter the class. They said, okay, you have to come 6.30 in the morning. After Salat al-Subh, you come to the class of Ustad. And when you go there, there are five or six over there. And they pass several filters to enter that uh, class. So this is the point that... If you are interested in Irfan, you have to pass all these ways. You have to be expert in logic. You have to be expert in philosophy. You have to be expert in Al-Hikmat Musa'aliya, Mullah Sadra, Al-Ishraq. And then you go to learn Irfan, inshallah. How many people in class? What class? Two, three, five. Maybe less than uh, fingers of uh, your hand because uh, they have to pass all these ways to go to the class of Irfan. So nobody can stay until that time to <laughs> enter that class. Yes, there are some other uh, maybe a false Irfan class outside. And somebody claimed that they are Ustad of Irfan, but they're not true Irfan. They just memorize, memorize the uh, words, memorize the expressions. You see, al awalam al khamsa for example. What's the awalam al khamsa What is five words? You can memorize it, no problem. But if you want to reach the reality, the meaning of these five words, you have to go through this way. What? No, Asfara Arba'i is Hikman Muta'aliyya. Actually, in Asfara Arba'i, some parts of Asfara is Irfan. Okay, no, no. This is another journey. This is not the journey that we call uh, in Soluk or Irfan Amali. This is a, a rational journey. This is, uh, which is Asfara Arba'a. This is not a practical journey. This is not Zero Soluk. This is a theoretical journey, specifically. So alhamdulillah, this is class of Arifan. Inshallah, next time we go to next topic. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.